during today's edition of Shower Talks, we are going to talk about Nathan Larson. He has passed away, or so it is rumored. He died in prison after reportedly being on a hunger strike and the exact details are unknown at this time. But let us remember Nathan Larson for the great man he was. He was a male sexualist like me. One of very few real men's rights activists to actually advocate against the criminalization of our sexuality that feminism has accomplished and keeps accomplishing more and more. With ever more draconian laws. Since this is YouTube, I'm gonna be careful of what I say. But it's probably permissible to speak about civil disobedience here. So if Nathan Larson is too incorrect, we can talk about a closely related activist namely Rosa Parks. But she did to end segregation very much like what landed Nathan Larson in prison this time. It's literally segregation he was defining of the intergenerational kind instead of the racial kind. But morally, these are equally worthy causes, right, to fight against that type of oppression. And the best way to do that, when you are a minority dissident, is nonviolent opposition. It is to openly defy the law in civil disobedience like Rosa Parks did on the bus Nathan Larson did by going to the airport with a girl can it be more open and defiant than trying to fly across the country uh, exhibiting a forbidden relationship. Forbidden mixing of the generations, right? That's what Nathan Larson did. And under those oppressive conditions, that landed him into, of course, American prison. It is very easy to understand that you get suicidal. And especially when you're so principled as Nathan Larson. If you went on a hunger strike, I don't doubt that he stuck to it all the way to the end. And that's probably how he died. Unless there was a suicide more um, immediate. But he also gave us a manifesto where you can read his own account of what got him into prison this time. It's not what the normies make it out to be.
He is like Rosa Parks. An innocent lamb to the slaughter. Because feminism is even more violent than what Rosa Parks was facing. She didn't risk life in prison. But that's what they do to man. Just for being man. Just for having the normal male sexuality, right? <laughs> that's literally what they do. For victimless crimes. So. We need to change our attitude to what those crimes are. I've already changed mine. In our movement, we consider that civil disobedience. The normies want to make it out <laughs> to be something morally depraved, right? But it is civil disobedience. Victimless sex crimes are civil disobedience. That's how I want you to think of that. If you aspire to be a male sexualist, if you want to join my movement, the men's movement, the real men's movement, then listen to what I have to say. Listen to what Nathan Larson has to say in his manifesto. He may have also said some problematic things in his life. But his actions speak otherwise. They attest to him being a good person. So, I thank Nathan Larson for his service for men's rights. For sexualizing. Not just men's rights, but against all oppression of sexuality. Rest in peace, Nathan Larson.